How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So there's this. And this one was a little bit of a surprise. I'm gonna open it. What's going on over there? Put the, put the gun I down. I saw you with the box. What was in the box? No, oh, what's in the box? Not until you give me the What's gun. in the box? Again, welcome back to the channel, everybody. So glad each and every one of you can make it. <laughs> this one was, it was a surprise. I didn't have any clue it was coming. Uh, we don't communicate like that. Uh, it's just one of those things, you know. I always leave comments on his videos. I, on most of them, I don't do every single one because there's just not enough time in the day to do everybody's video and leave comments, yada, yada, yada. But anyhow, long story short, <clears throat> this comes from Florida. Yes, the Sunshine State. And who it is from is Mr. Trevor Samuda. If you don't know who that is, as always, the information will be down below. You need to check him out because he's <laughs> two bag Tuesday, two bag Monday. He's the set king. He's in the honey hole of diecast. Is all I can tell you. If it's something new that comes out, he's the first to find it, and he gets the whole thing. There's none of that. Oh, there's one piece here, one piece there. Not he gets the whole thing. <clears throat> but anyhow. <laughs> This is for him. Like I said, I had no idea it was coming. I've already got it cracked open. No idea whatsoever. We've got a note in here. Hey Pete, just a few Mustangs. Ah, sorry. Camaros for you to enjoy. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Good one, Trevor. But I actually don't mind Mustangs. It's, it's evident in my... One's from Mr. Craig Brown. He sent me a couple Mini GT Mustangs. It's, I collect mainly Camaros. That's my focus. But, I, I, you know, I like everything. But anyhow, I do appreciate it. I like a good joke as, any, next, as the next guy. All right, what we got going in in Florida? All right. Buy two, get two free. Why can't it just say buy one, get one free? Cafe Bustello. Thank you very much. Ooh. All right, here we go. See what Florida has. <clears throat> All right. I don't have many third gen Camaros for some reason. I don't know. Second and first gen is I've got the most. Fifth and sixth, probably second. And then second and Third, I just, I, I don't have that many for some reason. But how we've got the burgundy one. There we go. Yes, sir. That color looks good on that car. <clears throat> that color looks really good on that car. You know, they can never have too many Camaros. Never, never, never. Oh yes, now we've got us a 69 Camaro convertible <clears throat> from the Muscle Mania from 2022 out of in case. And as many of you know, look at that, got the Flintstone power in there, look at that. Oh, that bad boy's fast. <laughs> As many of you know, I'm doing some racing just to see. <clears throat> I don't know where it'll run. Where it'll run. Talking about racing, where it'll run. I don't know where it will end up. Uh, if you guys want to send in cars and stuff later on, we can do that if you like. But for right now, I'm just running my running what I have loose, and I've got a bunch of loose cars. So with that stated. I wanted to start with the Camaros, which are up there. See which one's fastest out of all of them. Then we're going to do this and find the fastest ones. And we'll do that over there. And I've got a couple tubs that are slammed full. And <clears throat> but anyhow, what I'm getting at, there's certain cars that were made for the track. You know, like the funny cars. 
high wheels funny cars are notoriously fast on the track but they're also heavy Camaros for whatever reason have never ever done good on the freaking track I don't know why but that's why I wanted to do those first just to have some fun with that because like I said they never do good on the track oh yes this is the new one that came out from Matchbox it is the 2016 Chevy Camaro convertible very little detail as far as the car they did put the headlights and the taillights on there which makes it look really good it's got their their very nice line of five stars on it but they didn't do anything with the handles or anything like that it's just paint headlights and taillights sweet dang Trevor thank you for those three and we're still going all right, we have the 69 Copo Camaro from 22 in yellow. I've been teasing. I want to do all the different colors of the uh, Yenko Camaros. And thanks to Jeff over at WW Rep because I have the decals to do it. Now I just need to take, <clears throat> get the wheels and do the cars. Thank you, Trevor. Uh oh, international. Oh, oh, I gotta put that down. Mm. I'm, I'm not even. Gonna, I looked at the back of it and I seen the international logo and then I flipped it over and was like, oh, I gotta set that down. I'm going to set it right over here out of the way and we'll get back to that. So next up we're going to 22, the red edition of the Copo Camaro. <clears throat> Man, I, it, 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 I'm going to leave it at that. It, 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 it. Wow, Trevor. All right, it's got three more right here. Wow. Okay, uh, the 2010 Camaro SS. This is a uh, Hot Wheels Police Department. Hot Wheels Rescue from 2018. I think I have one of these loose up there, but I definitely don't think I have one on card. There's that one. And right there. Okay, so now we have two from, and I never ever saw this set. Matchbox Local Cruisers from, where is it at? Where are you? 2023. So that's this year. This has got the convertible SS, Chevelle, the Mustang, the Scout, the Bronco, the Wrangler Superlift, and the Corvette. And what we have here is a beautiful metallic orange. 1971 Chevelle SS convertible. Look at the paint on that bad boy. I mean, just look at that. Wow. Mm. Thank you, Trevor. And then there's this one. <clears throat> Wow, this is the 1969 Chevy Camaro. Did they put this set of two halves, 12 cars, okay? So this other half has the Pontiac Firebird Formula, the 69 Camaro, the Ford Pickup, the Ford Mustang GT, the Corvette T-Top, and the Dodge D200 Pickup. 
Well, what I have in my hands is the 69 Camaro, like I stated. Look at that bad boy. Holy moly, look at that. Fire, fire. <laughs> fire, 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 fire. <laughs> Like I said, Trevor's in the honey hole of, of diecast. He seems to, whenever something's new first posted, it seems like it shows up in his area. And he's on the same coast I'm on, and I can't get squat. <laughs> All right, we got two more in here. I'll set them right there with that other one. I can't believe you. Ooh, don't drop it, don't drop it. Trevor, where's your stickers at, Trevor? You got only about my stickers. Where's yours? Just kidding. Next up, <laughs> I like how they did this one. Everything's in big letters except the very last word. And it's in pink. One day, Trevor, you got to do a video of your collection. You know, an overview. If you display any, I don't know how or what, how your living situation is. I don't know if you have stuff displayed or what but if you do one day when you get a chance to show everybody out there because we've never seen it but this says i love my hooker headers <laughs> they done that one up right headlights grill turn signals the wheels look good on it Look at those wheels. Oh, yes. Tail lights, license plate. I might have to redo my Christmas tree because it is full, guys. I think I'm going to have to take half of it down and kind of rotate the stuff out and swap it in and out. Man, Trevor, thank you, brother. And this is one that Trevor really didn't care for. When he first saw it, he was like, eh, eh, this doesn't do it for me. <laughs> I'd actually like to have a couple more, not because of the, I've got one that was sent to me. I never found them. But I'm, I'm on, I, I want to do all the Yinko Camaros. I'm currently working on doing all the Mark Donahue Camaros. Then Mark Donahue has a Javelin, he has a Porsche, and he has a Mustang. I want to do all those. <clears throat> but to do the, and, and the other set is the Big Red Camaro. Big Red is one car and they set it up for different things. Uh, they've got like four or five different size engines. One is uh, supercharged, one's nitrous oxide. Um, pro charged, so on and so forth. Uh, one or two of them is well, one is electronic fuel injection now, and then the other one is just uh, standard carbureted. And then they have different hoods because the thing when it first started is I'm not I'll I'll be right back, Trevor. <laughs> one of the things is is that they wanted the Camaro to look original, but perform like a full-blown race car and they achieved it i mean that they've conquered every type of racing there is but anyhow they've got one that looks like standard 69 camaro i've done that video I've got the car up there on my display then they have one with a regular sorry regular 69 cow hood and it's got a little small hood scoop on it and then they have a wing that comes off the back of it. I mean, a big wing. Not, not wang like a spoiler. But this is more like a pro stock one. So it catches the air for top fuel racing. Because they that's what they specialized in was high speed road racing. For miles. You know. And uh, it's adjustable and everything. And then they've got one that's set for like the salt flats. And for the real high end, top end stuff like the mile and a half two mile run and it has a full hood scoop on it so i want to do each one of those too 
because those are my three favorite types of Camaros. The, well, and then I want to do the ball and motions, but I have to have a, several different types of second gens to do that. So that's my three favorite sets. But long story short, that most of you didn't care about. These would really help out with the big red Camaros. <clears throat> And to be honest with you, this is the only car out of the set that I really like. The Lycan, I don't care for, because I've got it already. Uh, the Plymouth GSX, a GTX, I've got that already. You know. The only one I don't have is the Toyota Land Cruiser, and you know, that's alright. And I don't have the, the Hellcat widebody. <clears throat> Trevor didn't much care for this car. When it came out, the, you know, the rake, it's so high in the rear end. This is a little off compared to the rest of the car. And I watched a video this weekend that I'll tell you all about later. Uh, that explains why some of the dimensions are off on the cars. I found that out, out by watching one of my TV shows that I really used to like. But... The reason I spent so much time explaining about Big Red and all that is because there's a new set out of the Fast and the Furious cars. And this is, uh, I think it was Fast and the Furious 4. Let's see. You had the original, then you had two Fast Two Furious in Florida. Then you had Tokyo Drift. Yeah, I think it is four. It's one where Dom came back and tried to get Letty's killer. But anyhow, it, it made like two appearances in the movie. It's the guy sitting there acting like he's a cowboy, uh, talking about no replacement for displacement to Paul Walker and stuff. And he happens to be sitting on the hood or propped up on the hood of Big Red. That's right. I cannot believe Mr. Samuda sent this. <laughs> Plastic base. This is one of the three dollar cars in it. <laughs> Instead of a seven dollar car, it's one of the three dollar cars middle range. It. Man, that thing looks so good. But this is basically what I built. But I changed the interior on it, put NASCAR interior, put the window net and everything, just like the, the real one has, and changed out the wheel. And that's all this one really needs. This one won't get touched. This is the only one I have. If I can come across some more wheel swaps and made into the other cars, because this one, to change it, all I'd have to do is put that big wing on the back of it and the different hood scoops, and I could have each and every one of them. So. <laughs> God, Trevor. I'm looking to see what I was in this set. Dodge Charger. Well, you got to have that. The Honda S2000. Of course, the Camaro. Don't care about the Mazda. The Nissan GTR. The 2000 GTR. The Bugatti Veyron, the Mercedes AMG would be pretty cool. The Datsun 240, but the Acura NSX and the Bugatti. Eh. But that, yes sir, I cannot believe you sent that. Two Fast and Furious movie cards right there, boys. <laughs> Thank you, Trevor. <clears throat> that card art, it just looks great. The car looks great. But this car is only in the movie for five seconds, maybe 10 max. I, I can't imagine what Universal paid to have that car in it. <laughs> but that being stated, again, all his information will be below. Please go check him out. He's got ugly car day. He's got two bag day. All kind of great content. So if you will go check him out, I'm going to get off here and enjoy these bad boys because Mr. Samuda did not have to send those. He did not have to at all. 
I had no idea he was going to or anything. That shows you what kind of guy he is, you know. Here I am, just a random nobody, and he decides he wants to send me something he knows I'm looking for and really like. This community, guys, I'm telling you, nothing else like it. And it's because of all you, each and every one of you. So until next time, get out there and hunt, because if you don't hunt, you can't find. And speaking of that, look at that chair back there. <laughs> just a random stop my wife had me do today. We'll get to that in another video too. Take care and we'll see you in the next one. Have a Merry Christmas.